Praise the Lord. It's my joy and privilege to have you again at the Voice of Destiny, speaking to your moment and inspiring your life. Permit me to bring the part two of our teaching series, Six Important Decisions You Must Make Over Your Life. Friends, I'd like you to understand that destiny is a matter of decision. God decided to create you and you must decide to also fulfill the purpose of your creation. All the matters of destinies are matters of decisions. So if you don't like taking decisions, you'll be cheating yourself over the affairs of destiny. Everything happening around your life, everything happening to you is a function of decisions you have made or certain decisions some other persons made for you when you were indecisive too. I like somebody hearing me to also understand that indecision is also a decision too. Because most persons feel they are trying to maintain a neutral ground on certain matters of life, but they didn't know that their neutrality is also a decision taken over them. To be silent over where you need to speak, you have also taken a decision too. Today, I'll go further to tell us about other form of decisions that you must make in life to make your destiny count. I said on the last teaching that the first decision and most crucial decision every man must make over his life is a decision of salvation. Until you are safe, nothing is safe around you. You need to be safe for your life to begin to count and have a meaning. And the second decision after being saved is a decision to know God and a decision to serve Him. Your knowledge of God is what establishes your faith in destiny. And it's your knowledge of God that determines how well you walk with Him. You can't walk with God and be lost in destiny. Now, having made these two decisions of life, there's a third decision crucial that every man must make. And it's a decision for relationship i like you to understand today that man is relational man was created for relationship man thrives by relationship and men succeed by relationship everything about a man's life is relationship determined everything about a man's life is relationship determined for instance your existence upon the face of the earth you came to the earth by relationship your father and mother had a relationship that's why you are here and if you will make life and live successfully on the earth there are other relationships you must enter into to make your destiny meaningful so you cannot play down on relationship but you have the choice to choose what kind of relationship you enter or permit in and around your life I like you to understand from scripture there are series of relationship we have seen in scripture and it shows how it affects men's decision now let's see john chapter 15 from verse 1 the bible says i am the vine you are the branches and my father is the husband man this scripture penned clearly to us the importance of relationship jesus is the vine we are the branches of christ and the father is the vine dresser meaning the branch cannot bear fruit except it be attached to what now the vine and the vine will require a vine dresser to continue to prune it so that it can continue to be useful and more fruits beloved your life thrives by quality relationship with wrong relationship your destiny will sing with the right relationship your destiny will rise and shine we saw a man destined for greatness but relationship crashed him that's the man called Samson. He was chosen by God to be a judge among his people. He was the savior to his people in the days of the Philistine. But he got into a wrong relationship, a relationship with a woman called Delilah. And that relationship crashed his destiny. We saw another man destined to be a king. But along the line, his choice of relationship destroyed the throne in his hand. And that's the man called Rehoboam, the direct son of Solomon. He had some relationship with some of his mates, as it were. And they cancel him wrongly. And that relationship cancel his destiny. Be careful of your relationship. Because there are sources of cancel. And the cancel can either build you up or cancel out your destiny. Relationships are quite important in destiny. They determine the next phase of every man's journey. Relationships are bridges that connect man to the future. Relationships are linkages that give man access to the things that he lack. With the right relationship, you continue to enjoy access. With the wrong relationship, you continue to be robbed of access. So every man must make a quality decision on the kind of relationship he wants in life. God once told me in my quiet time in study, 
He said, mind the person you follow because it's who determines what follows you in life. He told me again, mind who you date. That person will determine how you spend your day. He said, mind who you marry because the decision of who you marry is a decision of your next generation. What they will look like. What will happen to your next generation. And he told me, mind the neighbors you keep. Your decision for a neighbor will determine what you see and what you hear around you. And he told me, mind your friends because your friends will determine the happenings in and around your life. I saw these five important decisions I was to make and how they will affect my life. If I choose to follow the wrong person, the wrong stuff will begin to come after me. If I decide to date the wrong person, I would tend to start having a wrong day because who I date influences my daily activities positively or negatively. Who I marry will determine my next generation. And the neighbors I choose to keep will determine what I hear every day and what I see every day. And the friends I choose to have will determine the events and happenings around my life. Friends, I'd like you to look at those relationship cater and tell me what your relationship look like. Some of us right now, where we are today, is because of the wrong relationships we entered. Some of us, how advanced we have come today, you agree with me, it was somebody you met somewhere who spoiled your heart and kept you on the right path till this point in time. Some of us have lost our work with God simply by wrong relationship. Some of us are serving God more fervently today because of the right relationship. So next to your decision to knowing and serving God is the decision of the kind of relationship you allow in your life. Friends, don't just let people choose you into a relationship. Make a choice if you truly need them. Because every relationship will either develop you or destroy you. Listen, Abraham made a choice of his relationship with the man called Lord, his cousin. And the Bible, we saw that how that relationship was bringing strife between the both of them. The day Lord left Abraham's life was the day Abraham's eyes opened to see God's greatness plan for his life. Friends, you can't afford to be careless about relationship. They are major determinant to your journey in destiny. When a wrong person comes into your life, they will waste your time, they will waste your resources, and they will help you forget where you are going to. They keep you stagnated. When the right person comes into your life, they become major destiny boasters that encourage you to pursue your dream and to continue succeeding in the plan of God for your life. I like somebody hearing me today. A crucial decision you must make is a decision of who you marry because that will go a long way to tell about your future and your next generation. That decision of who you keep as a friend matters the most decision is not just for decision for relationship is not just for company our company determines what we can achieve together what we can do together the bible says in the book of second corinthians chapter 6 from verse 14 do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers what relationship has light with darkness what does the temple of god have with the temple of idol don't say it doesn't matter it does matter. A king entered into a wrong alliance with another king and he lost all his investment in scripture. When he decided to go into alliance with a king who was not working with God, every investment he made was lost. I saw something in the life of Jehoshaphat and the king of uh, Israel. The Bible said they were to go for war. And Jehoshaphat was a king who feared God and honored God. And he told them, is there not a prophet in this land? Let's consult the prophet before we go for war. But this other king doesn't need to talk to God. He has his own system. He believed in himself. And Jehoshaphat said, I'm not going except we consult God. And the king brought prophet who prophesied to him. And the prophet said to Jehoshaphat, surely the king of Israel will be falling in battle that day. And they still went ahead into battle but for the message of god Joshua's life was spared can i tell you right now destiny is too risky with a wrong relationship your destiny can only be fulfilled on the strength of right relationship jesus fulfilled his destiny with 12 disciples power of relationship we saw many of the works of jesus spread upon the face of the earth power of relationship your influence spread by relationship your influence spread by relationship. Your impact will multiply by relationship. Every man needs relationship. You need relationship with a mentor. 
to help train you and help equip you for the place you are going to. You need relationship with people lower than you so that you can invest all that God has put in you into them so that your destiny can begin to find roots downward. Every one of us need quality relationship, but we must decide, who do I need for the next phase that I'm getting into? Are you a student? You need a relationship with somebody smarter and better than you. Are you somebody who works in an office? You need a relationship. A boss who doesn't have good relationship with the workers will not tend to do well in business, will not tend to do well in his career. Are you any person in the house? You need a relationship with your spouse for your family to be a place of peace. Every destiny thrives by relationship and every destiny dries up without a relationship. So the next important decision you will make in your life is a decision of relationship. Look around you right now. Your biggest wealth is not what you have in your bank account. Your biggest wealth is the quality of people that are surrounding your life. Your relationship is wealth. What you can afford with money, relationship will afford for you. So if you lack relationship, you are the poorest man on the face of the earth. There's something you must decide for. But relationship decision is drawn out from a man's purpose and his value system. So if a man has a wrong purpose, he will have the wrong people. If a man has the right purpose, he will have the right people. So your purpose is what sets the pace for your kind of decision. Your value system also influences your decision. When you have a poor value system, a weak priority in life, your wrong relationship will be what you attract. I like you to understand that you attract who you are. So if you don't want to attract the wrong set of people, you must define your value system. Friends, after you have started pursuing after God, a key important decision you are to make is decision for relationship. I like you to evaluate your relationship today. Are they worthy relationship or worse relationship? Are they improving your life or destroying your life? Take a decision today. Don't look at people just hanging around you. You do not need people to hang around you. You need people to influence you. If you are not influencing anybody around you and they are not influencing, you don't have anything in common. Relationships are for the purpose of influence and it's influence that bring about impact. Number four decision everyone must make in the journey of destiny is decision to live a purposeful life. A decision to live a purpose purposeful life jesus speaking in john chapter 18 and verse 37 he said for this purpose came i into this world and for this cause was i born none of us on the face of the earth today came here by mistake we are all created by divine will of god to fulfill what is called a divine purpose friends it is purpose that brought you here on earth until you take a decision to be purpose driven in your work on the earth you just be a waster and a wanderer upon the face of the earth. Jesus speaking in that scripture said, For this cause came I into the world. For this purpose was I born. And Paul speaking said, For me to live is Christ, and to die is great gain. Every time a man has not found his purpose for living, he's just wasting time on the face of the earth. Can I let you understand? Until you make a decision to be purpose driven, you'll be a problematic person on the face of the earth. You are either purpose-driven or you are confusion. Or you are confused on the face of the earth. Everything on the earth has a purpose and it is following the purpose for living that makes man useful and meaningful agent on the face of the earth. Friends, in destiny, you are either a contributor of destiny or you are a consumer in the world. And it is the discovery of our purpose and decision to walk in our purpose that gives our destiny meaning in life. I'd like you to understand Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8 and Daniel proposed in his heart. So there's something you were created for. You must decide for that thing. If you do not decide for why you are created, you may just be living for some other things and at the end of the day, you find out that you have wasted your time on the earth. Somebody hearing me right now has to understand that purpose is the true essence of your existence. Purpose is the true essence of your existence. God designed you for something spectacular. Don't attempt to live out of that purpose. God designed your life for something special. You are All of your design, all of your makeup was to suit a particular purpose. The easiest way to fail in life 
is to start living why to start living outside of your purpose when you get a fish out of water you have taken the fish out of the enabling environment where it can succeed the only enabling environment where a man succeed is the environment within his purpose outside of god's purpose destiny is heading for a crash there are so many people today who are living their life just the way they like not the way they are ordained to that's what you were created for it is called god's purpose for your life until you decide to find purpose and decide to pursue purpose your life on the earth will make much meaning you are hearing me today i'm yet announcing to you that you were made for something big something extraordinary but there's something that you must do today decide to find the purpose of your life stop waking up every morning and going out and coming in all of these houses of life will make you frustrated today i'm calling out to you hearing the sound of my voice it is time for you to decide i want to find god's purpose for my life i want to live god's purpose for my life some of us have found the purpose of god but we're not working according to because we didn't like it you don't have to like it that's the only way to live that's the only way to live you can't take anything out of his purpose and it will function adam was created to operate in god's purpose he lived in god's purpose when you step out of god's purpose he died so no man can live the fullness of life as ordained by god for him outside of the purpose of god for his life a purpose-driven person will end up a blessing to his world hello friends i'd like you to understand that out of the purpose of god you'll be a body on the earth in the purpose of God, you are a major blessing on the earth. With purpose, you live a life of wonder. Out of purpose, you live as a wanderer. The purpose of God gives your life a meaning. The purpose of God helps you function adequately in your space on the earth. So the reason why you must discover purpose is because out of his purpose, you'll be a big time problem on the face of the earth. I'm sure you don't want to be one. Many of us are living like burdens around people right now. They're getting tired of us. Why? You have not chosen the purpose of God for your life. In the purpose of God for your life is the blessings of God for your life. Friends, these two decisions I add to your knowledge today. A decision for the right relationship and a decision to live a purpose-driven life. Your success is in your purpose. You can't be fulfilled out of his purpose for your life. I'm calling out to you today. Make the right choice of the right relationship and choose to be a purpose-driven man. As I round up today, Proverbs 29 verse 18, he said, where there is no vision, the people perish. Happy is the man that keepeth the law. From that scripture, it became imperative that outside the purpose of God, which is the vision of God for your life, the Bible says these people will perish. They will live a naked life. They will not be clothed in honor. Their lives will be barren. They will be walking, but never be able to come to anything productive. I like somebody hearing me today to tell himself the truth. Am I living a purpose-driven life? Signs of a purpose-driven life. You are a focused man. Anything doesn't catch your attention. You are a man of one thing, not a man of plenty things. You see, many people are jumping from one career to the other, from one business to the other, because they don't know why they were created. Every man is created for something spe specific, something spectacular. You can't afford to waste your time on the earth. This decision for purpose is what you must take today, or else you will live regretting your journey on the face of the earth. You won't fail God. You won't fail in destiny. Please, my friend, take decision-making seriously. It decides your destiny. God bless you.